Hey everybody, this is Anna from the Wayfinder Chronicles and I am coming to you from Puerto Viejo de Talamanca in Costa Rica. So this week I just wanted to give you some tips and tricks about being a digital nomad. If you've been following me for a little while, you know that I was traveling in my van for a while working for myself and then recently got a full-time job that I'm working remotely. This has been able to give me the chance to do some more international travel, which has been amazing so far. So really excited to share some stuff with you. I hope it's helpful and let's begin. The first thing that I will tell you about being a digital nomad is that it's not particularly easy sometimes to find some place to go, but it's absolutely possible with the right amount of research. Fiber optic Wi-Fi is a good search term for that. You can go onto Facebook groups and look for digital nomad groups that can you know, point you in the right direction. There's a lot that are country specific. There's some that are general, like digital nomads around the world. Um, those are great resources to start your search of where you wanna go. Then when you're looking through Airbnb, super frustrating, they don't have a feature to you know, go by Wi-Fi speeds yet. But you can ask people to run speed tests. I'll link one below, that's really great. Um, and then you can get an idea of what the upload and download speeds are at that place. So that'll really help, especially if you need to do things like make video calls. Keep in mind with those speeds too, if you're doing video calls, it's really the upload speed that matters. A lot of people will just tell you the download speed. You really wanna try to get them to tell you the upload speed as well. So when you're going to another country, make sure that your phone is unlocked and pick up a local SIM card while you're there. This will allow you to use hotspot data and to just make phone calls and whatever else you need to do on your phone even when you're away from Wi-Fi. Have the right you know, kind of clothing that's gonna make you look professional, at least from the waist up, <laughs> and then have a workstation that's suited to the kind of work that you're doing. One of the main things about your computer setup when you're being a digital nomad is to practice it first at home. So I'm still at home with Sterling and Kitty, and so I will show you my little setup here. I practice with this for a couple days before taking it out on the road so that I can make sure it works for my job because what works for me might not work for you. I work in diversity, equity, and inclusion training, so um, you know, I need video access, I need this nice up and high, I need extra screens. So I have a pair of folding screens that will fold up nice and light in my luggage. These attach right onto the computer. Then of course I have a detachable keyboard, a mouse and cool little mouse pad. Um, all the cords I need and I also bring like extension cords if I need that as well. And then a little stand for the computer. This all packs up nice and light in one little backpack and I've got my office on the road. And the work day begins. Just pick somewhere and stay there for a little while. As a digital nomad, that's going to give you a lot more peace of mind. It's going to involve a lot less research on your part and you'll really get to know someplace more on like a local level. Um, get to know the people, kind of make some friends in the area, uh, get to know your favorite places to eat and that's really valuable. I know it's really tempting sometimes to go to another country and you know just move, 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 try to see every single thing you can and I often try to, I kind of think about that as like a scarcity mindset. So I know it's really easy and this is just easy on normal vacations too to get in the mindset that you're here you have to do everything pack your calendar with tours and the moments that you're not you know on the beach or doing anything or time wasted and that can just lead to a lot of feelings of stress and um, it's that feeling of you know you need a vacation from your vacation so particularly when you're here working at a place just try to Think about it more of the times that you do get to explore. Take advantage of those. Schedule little moments in your day to, you know, go down to the beach, take a walk, 
whatever that is, and enjoy those moments rather than stressing about the moments that you're not getting because you're working. Which for me means smoothies on the beach. engage in some self-care you hear all the time when you're a digital nomad how amazing your life is and the people that you're working with might be like oh my gosh you're just in paradise and and that can sometimes start to feel a little bit like you shouldn't have any problems or you should just be happy all the time or, or whatever but it's it's also really important to understand that things can go wrong when you're traveling you can get sick you might be really tired um, you know, work still can be stressful. So really self-care just like you would do at home. The last thought I'll leave you with is that there still is some bias around being a digital nomad. People are going to really expect you to have the connectivity thing down, the professionalism down. And that can feel like a lot to kind of cope with and navigate sometimes. But I also want to encourage you to Think about how being a nomad, being a digital nomad, also increases your strengths, increases um, your ability to contribute in interesting ways to your workplace. Despite the hard things that come along with digital nomading, it's also so incredibly rewarding. And I really hope that it's something that you can bring into your life if that's what you want to do. Uh, please feel free to leave any questions in the comments below and I will definitely answer them. Um, I am here to support you in your nomading journey as well. Join me next week because we're going on a rafting trip in Costa Rica followed by some awesome hot springs and can't wait to bring you along with me. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful week and I love you all.